you're not living in Saudi Arabia. You cannot expect your children to see you at home dressed one way and then they see everybody else dressed some other way. It doesn't work. What's going to happen to the children? What happens, and I think some of you already know what I'm talking about. You put the hijab on the little girl. Mashallah. You take her to school. Mashallah. She got nice, you know, long dress and hijab. And... But then she goes inside and she goes to her locker, take off the hijab, change clothes, put some makeup on it. Hey, man, what's happening now? You rapping? Okay, I'm rapping too. What's that? Because you're teaching them to live a dual life. They become a split personality. When you're with the parents, with your friends, yeah, baby. and it's happening. If you don't pay attention to this, one day you're going to be sending me an email like the one I received today. Somebody telling me, help me, help me, help me. I need your help. I don't know what to do. It's my wife. It's my kids. And then they detail a long story. And I receive these too many times every week from Muslims around the world because they haven't taken the time to see what Islam. What does Islam teach you about your children? But no, you want to read Dr. Spock. You want to read Freud to understand the psychology of a human being. But you don't want to read the Quran and see what the one who created Freud, the one who created Spock, the one who created everything has sent you a manual. This is the book. Here, here. La Rebbe You want to know how to raise your children? This is the owner's manual for human beings. What do you need to know? Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha